Ho, 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 it's Mark. Welcome to Scotch Sunday. Thanks for stopping by, giving it a view. Today we have a Scallywag Winter Edition. This is the 2021. This is 53.1% ABV, natural color, no chill filtration. So I'll go ahead and open her up. And so sub while you're here, subscribe, like, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment. Uh, thanks for giving it a view. And today, we're, this one will be another Christmas one, and I'm running it. Probably, I don't know how many more years I'll be able to find special editions, but they're not that, they get harder and harder to find. So, um, some of this year's weren't so great. So, but I know Scallywag's done at least a couple uh, different years that they still go, that they've done. So, all right, so Scallywag is uh, the Douglas Lane Company. The name comes from, and the, the Scallywag, I guess, was the name comes from the family Fox Terriers that they have. This is Speyside blended mostly at Mortlock, McAllen, and Glenrothes. Uh, it's matured in Oloroso and PX Sherry Buds. So, um, yeah, it's limited edition. 100% sherry matured. So this is should be a, this should be at 51.3, 100% sherry matured. This should be a big time sherry bomb. Um, I'm not a big you know uh, independent bottler thing, but this this really sounds like it might be a winner. Um, so let me go ahead and show it to you in the glass in the bottle. So this is the glass. And that is natural color. Don't know how, no age statement, so don't know how old it is, but. Okay, so I will read it to you. Uh, Speyside, so this is Speyside blend. Oh yeah, obviously, if we know where it came from. Speyside blended malt scotch whiskey. So, blended malt scotch whiskey. So yeah, so it's a blend of single, single malts. From different stores, one of four thousand two hundred bottles. That would be quite a few barrels. That would be what ten or so cast barrels. So, okay, one hundred percent sherry mature. All right, so a limited edition marriage of single cask single malts only from space sides scallywags second winter edition is bottled at, at natural cast strength of 53.1 percent only one of four four thousand two hundred bottles available globally this remarkably rich dark and fruity dram is a wonderful winter warmer proudly offering proudly offered without chill without coloring or chill filtration the unique recipe for this special edition Scallywag comprises single malts distilled at McAllen, Mortlock, and Glenrothes distilleries, amongst others. Matured in a combination of Oloroso and PX sherry casks, the Scallywag Winter Edition displays bold notes of juicy dates, rich toffee sauce, and warming spices. So, yes, it says chill filtration, not chill filter, not... Uh, yeah, whatever the other chill filter punch. Non chill filtered. No, it's no chill filtration. So alright. It is a sherry bomb. Absolutely delicious. Which is great for for, for Christmas, something around the holidays. I mean sherry is not unlike like what you Christmas spices. So this makes really good makes good sense, so Dark fruits, figs, raisins, sultanas. Just dried fruit, dried apricots. I get that sherry. Oh man, this is so much better than some of the other crap I've had this Christmas season. Oh, plums, honey. It smells like fruitcake. I don't get much oak. 
This is dried fruit. Sherry. I get a little bit of, yeah, I'm getting a little bit of the, some of that maltiness. It smells sweet. But there's a, something really good in there, like a, a sweet, sweet toffee. Butterscotch toffee. This smells really good. Baking spices. Sherry. I'm getting ginger. Yep, absolutely getting a lot of ginger now, but still those dark fruits. April, dried apricots. All right, onto the palate. Wow. Okay. A lot of ginger, Christmas spices, spicy. Spice comes, it kind of does this dark fruit, then it goes into the spice, and then it finishes with a, a the, that citrusy um, sherry, kind of. Tastes hotter than 46%. It is 46%, right? No, it's 51.3. That's why it tastes hot. Okay. Much. That explains it. Yeah. All right. I was like, this is too hot for that. But uh, yeah. So it does not taste 53.8. It tastes, I would have said 48. Hasn't really changed. Fruit cake, more fruit cakey. Plums, dried fruit, figs, sultanas, raisins, dates. It's got me wanting to eat. It's making me want to eat some dates. Got that sherry. Some honey in there. Sweet. Figs and dates. Big time. More, more, of, the, more of that coming through now. Now, on the nose does not, that's, well, I guess why it caught me by surprise, because the nose does, I, I'm not getting much alcohol, much of that phenol, or that um, ethanol, kind of, at all. But, Oh, yeah. Dang. This is good. Ginger, black pepper on the finish. It's got that raisin dates on the initial. Goes into this like fruit cakey um, sherry thing and then finishes with this ginger pepper. Yeah. In the middle is this fruit cake dark fruit kind of thing starts with that you know raisin and stuff so yeah I'm wishing I had another bottle of this wow you know I, like I said I kind of don't usually go with independent bottlers but I would absolutely buy this again this is fantastic I don't think I paid an arm and a leg for it um, this, this is a whiskey to have. Wow. I'm going to go with a nine. I can't, I don't, there's not a flaw. Maybe too much ginger. That would be the only thing I would cut back on that. But I, there's nothing else I would change.
yeah. All right. See you next time. Merry Christmas. Hey.